Hello everyone, welcome to The Rate Theater, and today I thought I would do um, a kind of record collection video because I thought it'd be fun and I haven't made a video in a while so I thought if I was going to do something it would be something like this so I'm just going to show you guys all the albums that I have um, yeah, probably give you my thoughts and opinions on all of them so yeah, there we go, hope you guys enjoy Alright, first up we got Fleetwood Mac, Rumors, and I I think this is a phenomenal album. I think it's one of the greatest ever made. Um, easily Fleetwood Mac's best as a bit of a basic opinion, but I genuinely do think it's that good. And I actually have all these ordered. Uh, I didn't say this at the beginning, but I do actually have all of these ordered from uh, like the ones that I have the least of to the most of. So I only have one or uh, I only have one of certain albums, two of others, and only three is the most I have on certain artists. But yeah, I think Fleetwood Mac Rumors, it's just one of the greatest albums to ever, you know, exist, I think. The Chain, Dreams, uh, Don't Stop is such an underrated album, or song. It's just awesome, man. Great, absolutely great album. Alright, then we got one of the greatest debut albums of all time with Led Zeppelin 1, Dazed and Confused, uh, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, uh, so much on here is just so perfect and just I don't know I think it's arguably one of the greatest debut albums of all time and I can't wait to get more Led Zeppelin stuff because they're one of my favorite bands of all time uh, here we go we got Bon Jovi Slippery When Wet now thing is with Bon Jovi is that this is the only album of his which I really feel like I would want to ever own and the thing is, is I bought it for only like the first side is like, you know, I'll listen to the other side sometimes, but, I mean, <laughs> Dead or Alive, um, Shot Through the Heart and Living on a Prayer, pretty much back to back to back on this first side, I mean, that's just awesome, there's no beating that, and you know what, there are some deep cuts on here, which I do think are actually really great, alright, now here we go, uh, this is Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd, this is my favorite album of all time, probably one of my favorite pieces of media to ever be created, um, yeah, I love it, Shine On You Crazy Diamond is like my favorite song, I don't think that there's, I think all of the songs, all five of them, are a perfect 10 out of 10, don't think anything could ever beat this, um, speaking of perfect 10 out of 10s, Pink Floyd, if you can't tell, Pink Floyd's like my favorite band, Dark Side of the Moon is awesome, while I don't think it's, you know, even the second best Pink Floyd album, I still think it's perfect, wouldn't change a thing about it. Um, absolutely awesome. Also the first album I ever got. Um, here we go. We got King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizards. Um, Nonagon Infinity. Now, Nonagon Infinity is uh, one of the first albums that I listened to that really got me into King Gizzard. And, you know, out of all the, of the bands that I own records for, they're, you know, probably one of the least popular. So I 100% recommend you check them out. Uh, and this one is... You know, it's not my preferred King Giz style, I think I prefer some of their more new stuff, but this is just still a spectacular album and a spectacular showcase for what this band can really produce, and that's, I mean, that on its own is just awesome, you know, uh, here we go, we got Fishing for Fishes, I think this might be my favorite King Gizzard album, I, you know, I'm gonna say it, this is my favorite King Giz album, um, just everything on here is just about perfect, I could listen to this album on loop for ever for days i swear it's it's so just addicting and hypnotic and awesome and i also just love the cover art if this was like a shirt or something i would buy it awesome love this album so much love the message good message you know? and then this is um flow along fill your lungs by again king gizzard and uh I, I really do like this album i think it's one of the best king gizzard albums out there, uh, and I think it's, you know, really good for one of their first ones, um, I think that that opening side, the first side there, I think it's awesome, I think it's one of the best, but, uh, everything else on here is also really good, especially Let Me Men the Past, I think is such a good cut off this album, I 100% recommend it for newcomers of King Giz, uh, then we got Magical Mystery Tour, um, one of my favorite Beatles albums, uh, probably my favorite of the psychedelic era. This is such a slept on album, I feel, because everyone talks about, you know, Sgt. Pepper's and stuff like that, but, like, the first side 
has some of those underrated Beatles songs on it, like The Fool on the Hill and Your Mother Should Know. But then also on the B-side, it has Hello, Goodbye, Strawberry Fields Forever, Penny Lane, Baby, You're Rich Man, All You Need Is Love, right there. And all of those are just phenomenal tracks, one after another. And I just think that's awesome. I love this album. Um, one of my favorite ones that I own. Uh, then we got Let It Be, which I bought from Walmart. Um, and you know what? Great album. Uh, some really underrated Beatles songs on here. Uh, especially I, Me, Mine, which I think is one of my favorite Beatles songs of all time. Uh, it's it's just a great album. It, it really is um, such an awesome, you know, finale to the Beatles as, um, as a band. Not as good as Abbey Road would have been. And then we have The White Album by The Beatles. And this is probably like my second favorite album ever. Um, I love it. I think it's The Beatles' best. Um, the only thing that probably contends with it is Abbey Road. Or Revolver. Revolver could too. Um, but yeah, I love this album. I just think it's awesome. Although, out of all the ones to display on my shelf, this is the lamest. Even though it's, you know, so good. But I love it. I love how weird it is, I love how crazy it is, it's not like Wish You Were Here, where I think it's 100% perfect, it's just one of my favorites, and that's about as simple as it gets. I also really do apologize for, like, not having those in any particular order, other than organizing them by band. Uh, they should have done it by order of release, but I didn't, so next record collection update that's what i'm going to definitely have to do and yeah if you want to see more music related stuff from me then be ready i was planning on making a different video today because i've been wanting to get back into videos but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um definitely more videos like this on the way so yeah subscribe